I'm kind of exploring um, the idea of when is a painting no longer a painting? When does it become something else? I'm kind of playing with the board. I'm playing with the two-dimensional to the, to the three-dimensional, making them more alive in a certain way. It's a good-looking pile. It's like Christmas shopping. I work with the Illinois State Toll Road. Uh, they pick up tires for me. I've been working with them for years. They're a wonderful men. Good. All right. It's only take me 20 minutes or that, so. That's fine. But uh, this is better than Christmas shopping. All right. <laughs> Uh, they bring the uh, tires into the depot and uh, I go out to Hillside and uh, pick up the tires. Shredded uh, bits. What are you doing with this though? I'm an artist! Okay. They have huge piles. I mean, they're mountains of tires. And I'm very choosy on what I pick. Uh, it, uh, it's very personal. I'm trying to get the ones that are really alive which is kind of a dichotomy because uh, the retreads and the blowouts can often be about death. I try to find the ones that look like either birds in flight or I try to make them, uh, I juxtapose them into some sort of energy that kind of works with what I feel about my painting. In other words, this is, these tires are just another brush stroke in a certain way. interested in the relationship of perception, the rate relationship of form, what comes forward and what goes back. Kind of leaned on Seurat's Sunday afternoon, the island of the grad chat at the Art Institute, and how color shifts and the, the paint becomes very vibrant the closer you approach it. And so um, that combined with the interaction of color, um, Joseph Albers and how color shifts and moves uh, depending on this juxtaposition of other colors, um, has been very important to me. The idea of symbolism, metaphor, in this case the energy, um, I hope will speak for itself. And then, as you keep looking at it, you, there's a certain, certain elements of discovery. I've often used uh, medical drawings in my work and astrological, uh, as well as um, nautical um, elements. And so it is about our abilities and our disabilities and our energy and our joy as well as our failures. I want them to work individually. I want them uh, to work as individual pieces as well as um, uh, coagulating into a larger whole of movement. So uh, I put a lot of work into the background. They start out as uh, kind of flat paintings. Um, and like this, which is a piece that's in progress. So this is uh, layers of different colorations of uh, paint. I've started to get, um, it has a directional, uh, actually flight patterns under here, and uh, wind, um, wind patterns that I've taken from uh, both uh, computerized images as well as um, newspapers. 
and then of course I work with the ideas of the background and pull them forward, pull them up front. So the viewer from a distance can't tell really what's forward and what's uh, on the background uh, until they become closer and it becomes an element of discovery and then of course it becomes an experience. These are some drawings that I'm working on. Um, at the same time I'm working on the larger pieces. Um, found objects, uh, found wires in their positionings. I didn't alter that. Um, I'm very interested in the shadows, uh, the negative space, the shadows, as well as the, uh, the wire themselves. But I like how they work together. Uh, they twist forward and twist back. I believe that art is an experience and the object is the catalyst for that experience.